Hey what's going on, it's Dr. Technician, we're going to combine some elements together to create a simple and awesome logo animation, look like neon effects. Take a look at a preview. Anyway, this is Dr. Technician helping you go further faster in technical fields. If you're new here, consider subscribing. In this video, we have a lot of cool techniques to create a very simple but awesome logo animation for your videos. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So, we are in After Effects. Here, we're gonna create a composition. Just click here, put a name to the composition. I'm gonna call it Neon Logo Reveal. Keep video resolution 180. Let's put video duration just 5 seconds. Alright click OK. It is our composition and all we have in here is our logo. So, the first thing you want to do you bring your logo in here. Then, create a black solid layer. To do that, right click in timeline. Select new. Click solid. Just name it light. Alright. Then select the logo and go to layer menu, and select auto trace. And make sure that the option apply to new layer is ticked. And select OK. In timeline, we can see a new layer is created. Then expand this little arrow and click masks. Here, drag all masks to select them. Then select all masks of the new layer and go to edit and click copy. Then select the background layer and go to edit and click paste. Perfect. So, here we've created the mask, in the exact shape of our logo. Then select the layer, and go to effects menu, and select video copilot, then click saber. Here, we can see a glowing line in the composition. Then in the effect panel, go to Saber Effect, and expand the arrow of render settings. Here, in the composition setting, select Transparent. Alright. Then expand the arrow of Customize Corp, and go to Corp Type, select Layer Masks. Perfect. We almost there, don't freak out. Then go to Preset, and select Neon. Here we go, perfect. Let's make some minor changes. Let's reduce value of glow intensity. Change to 50%. Change color to what you want. I'd like change to this color. Here we go. Here, let's put some animation to the logo. Before that, change value of glow spread to 0.50. Here, we're gonna make a simple animation. Go to timeline and select 3 second. Here we're going to create the first keyframe. Simply go to effects panel, and locate start offset. Simply click this small stopwatch locking icon here. So, we've created the last keyframe. Now let's create the first one. Select the zero in timeline, then go to the effect panel, and put 100% in value of the start offset. That's it. We've created the first keyframe as well. Look at the preview. That's it. We've completed the first step of the animation. Here, just go to Effects and Presets. Type Stroke, and drag the stroke effect to the layer. Select third second in Timeline, and go to Effect Panel, and locate Stroke Effect. Tick the column of all masks in Path. Increase the value of brush size to 10. Then click its little stopwatch icon to create the last keyframe. Then select the first second in timeline. And decrease the value of brush size to 4. Look at the preview. Alright. But it needs some little changes. Decrease the value of brush hardness to 10%. Opacity value to 50%. Alright. That's enough. So far, we've done all these effects in the mask of the original logo. 
Here, we are gonna bring back the original logo in this very exact location. Select third second in timeline, and go to opacity the logo layer, then create a keyframe there. At the first of the layer, reduce the opacity to 0%. Here, select the animation layer. Then go to the opacity, click the stopwatch icon to create the first keyframe, then move forward in timeline just half second, then reduce the opacity to 0%. Let's take a look at preview. Awesome, that's enough. At the end, let's create an end animation to the logo. Let's make fading out animation, select the fourth second in timeline. Then go to the opacity of the logo layer, and click this little diamond icon here. At the end of the timeline, reduce the opacity of the logo layer, to zero percentage. Here we go. Take a look at preview. So here, we've finished this simple neon logo reveal animation. To save, go to composition menu. Click Add to Render Queue. Click Output Module, to edit the format of the animation video. Then select Format like what you want. Click Output to to edit the location of the saving. Then select where you want. Click Render to save the composition. Anyway, here we've completed our Neon Logo Reveal animation. You can check your animation from where you've saved. Let me know in the comment section how you got on. And if you found this video helpful, please give it the thumbs up. If you have a question you'd like to ask me, leave it in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer it. Thanks for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe for more videos just like this. And until next time, Dr. Technician is helping you go further faster in tech. Keep crashing it and we will talk soon.